Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor, Ethico. In the intricate world of ethics and compliance, each second is precious, and slow case closures are more than just delays, they're missed opportunities. Enter Ethico. Our solution revolutionizes case management, cutting case closure times in half, and turning every challenge into a chance for improvement. Imagine a workspace where efficiency and compliance coexist harmoniously. Don't just dream of faster resolutions, make it your reality. Visit ethico.com slash cpn today to book a demo and dive into our exclusive white paper by Tom Fox, 2023, the year in compliance. Empower your team with the tools they deserve. The Daily Compliance News for February 1, 2024, the Take My Corporation and Go Home edition. And we begin with that story from the Financial Times as Elon Musk, upset because he violated Delaware corporate laws and was spanked for it, as we reported yesterday, said he will immediately hold an investor vote on whether to move his corporate registration to Texas. Um, The billionaire posted this question on uh, the uh, X, and he said that the poll said he should. Well, you know, even in the great state of Texas, where idiots abound, um, we still have laws. So it's going to be interesting to see, one, how long before he violates those laws, and two, what happens when the shareholders bring lawsuits in Texas saying you violated Texas laws. I guess he's got uh, 48 more states he can reincorporate in. Uh, next up, in a very interesting article from the Wall Street Journal, um, it reports that the banking industry is going to need to uh, set up policies and procedures to access the new corporate uh, ownership information base that FinCEN is creating. It's really no surprise uh, that they'll have to do it. Uh, I was a little bit surprised from the Wall Street Journal article, which comes to us from the Risk and Compliance um, Journal, with Mingi Sun reporting that uh, many are estimating that it will take uh, millions of dollars to set up information. I don't think that's right. I think you simply need to set up your policies and procedures, and uh, you can go from there. So, um, But there will be some heartburn. Next up from uh, the New York Times, it reports that, or at least opines, that generative AI's biggest aspect will be in banking and tech. I don't think there's any surprise on the tech side, nor really on the banking, particularly when you think about it in terms of the productivity uh, increase and rise from generative AI. Tech, I think it'll be a little bit more on the creative side and coming up with uh, new ways to look at data, new angles, and other uh, things. And our final story comes to us from Transparency International, which has announced the release of the 2023 um, Corruption Perception Index. Um, Sad to report the United States has dropped to uh, number 24, which really, uh, I think, um, is a commentary on the current state of American political affairs. But uh, it's still a great resource, and it's still something uh, you should consider going forward. In the month of February, the Compliance Podcast Network is sponsored by Ethico. Are you struggling to close cases? Well, Ethico is here for you. Take advantage of their innovative approach to empathetic Issue intake, streamline case management, and enterprise-wide disclosures. Learn more about how you can crowdsource risk management at scale at ethico.com backslash cpn. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.